so in today we are as you know we are studying chapter 3 so the electric co po current portion is done so convention current drift velocity and current density ohm's law already, already we studied so let's see what is there so uh, just a little bit of revision from ppt what is electric current electric current is defined as charge flowing through a se any section of conductor in one second so i is equal to q upon t the rate of flow of charge in steady now there are different type of current okay steady current and what do you mean by steady current you can see in the diagram one over here the a diagram in this diagram you can see the blue line which is going straight steady current which does not vary with time so there is one a is a steady current b and c you can see in diagram also this b is with violet and c with green varying current whose magnitude varies varies with time so here you can see with time b and c b is going up okay so its magnitude also increasing and c also varying up and down d is alternating current whose magnitude varies continuously with this orange one whose magnitude varies continuously and direction changes periodically whose magnitude varies continuously and direction changes periodically also matlab one after the after after repeat after certain interval of time so current are of three types steady current which is not very good time varying current whose value whose magnitude does then but in third one alternating current whose magnitude varies continuously and direction changes periodically that you should be remember so there are three types of currents now why i is stuck over here hmm convention current that is one more okay as we know current is just a flow of charge gas okay and if we talk about in conductor the flow of current we are basically talk about flow of elect electrons because in conductor free electrons are there so in conventionally it was always says that um, positive carriers the flow of positive carrier in the flow of positive carrier the direction of current is Conventional current is the current whose direction is along the direction of motion of positive charge under the action of electric field. Okay, the direction of flow of positive charge will give you the convention. Okay, but as we know, in conductors, negative electrons flow. Current is due to flow of electrons, and since flow of electrons, so the flow of electron is opposite to the direction of convention current so conventional current is due to motion of electron and is in opposite direction opposite to the convention motion of electrons now drift velocity and current what is uh, there is one more term current density okay system as we know the formula of current uh, let's go to our uh, board white board what is current density remember huh? i am just writing a new term current density you should know it okay current density so current density it is just similar to current but it uh, acha remember one more thing current is not a vector quantity because the flow of electron define direction of current no no flow of opposite to the flow of current convention current uh, or the direction of convention current is always from opposite to direction of flow of electron remember conventionally i am talking Uh, so current density is in microscopic quantity and it is characteristic of 
certain point in a conductor it's a new term okay so in case of flow of charge through a cross section current density j at a point is defined as the vector having magnitude equal to current per unit area surrounding that point so it's just a vector form of current so current density is just a vector form of and it is going to be a vector letter z with array the current density is noted by j and how we define uh, i am just reading from a textbook you can check out or you can write out in case of flow of charge through a conductor current density j at any point is defined okay defined as a vector having magnitude equal to the current per unit area surrounding that point and normal to the direction of charge and normal to the direction of charge so of charge flow and direction and directed in which current passes through that point and directed in which current passes through that point uh, uh, so let me clear it huh how what do you mean by current so let me open it uh, let's draw it okay i'm drawing a conductor this is a conducting bar okay so electrons oh, what happened Oh yeah. Huh. So in that I'll draw electron flow in this direction. Okay, flow opposite with this. And as from the definition, current direction is always opposite to the electron direction. So I go in this direction. Convention, remember. Hmm. Now, the current direction is, is this. So, J direction is perpendicular to this circular cross section. J current density direction. So mathematically j is simply defined as j is equal to change in current per unit cross section area with n vector. So j is simply defined as so let me explain what this means. Uh, if uh, at point P, if at point P, this is a point P, okay, this is point and this is point P current del I pass normally through area del S and this having area ds as shown in figure then current density J at point P will simply be J is equal to di upon ds unit vector where n is the area vector direction of area vector or just to remove this direction and all so what i'll i will i can write i'll use this one so From this equation only, we are talking about J is equal to as uh, how this cost data will come.
डोंट डू ओके ए क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज नॉट नॉर्मल टू द करंट हियर इज अ केस वन वी आर सेइंग दैट दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया दिस इज हाई डायरेक्शन एंड क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज नॉट नॉर्मल टू करंट दैट इज लाइक दिस सो देयर इज अ एंगल बिटवीन दीस टू लेट्स से थीटा सो इन दैट केस दैट इक्वेशन व्हिच वी हैव रिटन जे इज इक्वल टू डी आई अपॉन डी एस आई इज नॉट अ वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी एल डी सी बट एरिया वैक्टर डी एस इज वैक्टर सो आई कैन राइट दिस डी एस एज कॉस शीट आई हैव रिमूव एन बिकॉज एन एन एस हैविंग एन एंगल or on further solving what i can write di is equal to j d s cos theta okay i will detail as per i can write here cos theta as simply j dot in dot product form j dot d और मोर कन्वीनियंट है आई वुड से मोर कन्वीनियंट आई शुड इंस्टेड ऑफ एज वी नो जे इज इक्वल टू डी आई अपन डी एस एन कैप वॉट आई एल डू आई सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई सो डी आई इज इक्वल टू जे डी एस हाँ जी ना डी एस इंटू एन कैप And to find out the value of i, I'll integrate over surface on the base. So same will it will reduce to the form i integral d i integration is i j is remain j and it is s. The relation between current density and current is simply i is equal to j into s, or simply j is in for j is i upon s. And remember, current density is a vector quantity. now we'll come to our next topic which is uh, current uh, which is drift velocity that is what is drift velocity there are lot of things in your textbook in your nabo textbook i'm talking about not about this uh, uh, let's okay yesterday we have studied ohm laws and uh, how the resistance is uh, universally propo uh, directly uh, three uh, directly proportion to length of the conductor and how resistance is universally proportion to uh, inversely proportional area of the conductor area cross section area of the conductor so after combining this we got r is equal to r with proportion to l upon a and r is simply is equal to rho l upon a where l where r, rho is called resistivity and uh, the physical parameter on which resistance depend is the length of the conductor and its cross section of the conductors this all we have studied yesterday so drift velocity is a very good phenomenon you should know it how this so i'm just giving some information okay just listen to this every metal has large number of free electrons which are in the state of continuous rapid and zigzag zigzag motion within the conductor okay if i'll draw if i draw a conductor and and electrons and so that i'll use negative negative all the Okay, so every metal has large number of free electrons which are in the state of continuous rapid zigzag motion within the body of conductor, like molecules of gas. 
three molecules as your gas just like you have studied in kinematic theory of gases uh, gas molecules randomly move in any direction so the net velocity is zero assuming one free electron per atom the number of electrons per cubic the will be hence they set to form a electron gas their motion is random due to thermal hall. their motion is random due to thermal motion and corresponding velocity is called thermal velocity okay as you have you can see in the picture this is the conductor and the few electrons are there and they are in zigzag motion okay just like within the due to thermal due to thermal agitation we call it so the velocity is called thermal velocity at room temperature according to kinetic theory of, ga of gases the uh, the velocity of these free electrons would be around 10 to the power 5 meter per second at room temperature the velocity of zigzag electrons these moving electrons 10 to the power 5 meter per second okay since free electrons leave their atoms to become free the atoms are make positive and during the random motion the free electrons collide with positive at a random high frequency um, one after each collision the direction of motion changes as shown okay what i am just doing now remember what if u1 and u2 be the individual thermal velocity let's say u1 u2 u3 and that dash u n there are n in free electrons and so then free electrons having these velocity at initial level remember huh? and as we said and as these all electrons and electrons are moving in the zigzag and the total so average velocity so we talk about average velocity so i'll simply write u will be simply u1 plus u2 plus that that is u1 upon n this should be zero okay in other words the free electrons have no particular direction of motion as a result of this the net transport of charge in any direction is zero so remember huh, this is equation number one with an average velocity at room temperature is zero because electrons are moving in zigzag path no definite direction now but as soon as a potential difference that means this conductor is connected through a cell plus minus so this end left hand and become positively potential and left left hand negative potential as the potential difference generated due to this battery so the flow of electron starts in and flow of electron a flow of current will start flow of current means a positive direction of flow of electrons so flow of electrons from which direction so electrons will move toward positive as electrons are negative in nature so they will move to the positive end so electron if there are electrons so these electrons not the electron all the electrons start moving toward the positive electron but, but during this but during this electrons when the electric field is set up inside it each free electron inside the conductor experience a force in opposite direction to a direction of applied electric field they move toward the positive end as we have said it okay in the parabolic path rather than straight path so they will not why in the parabolic path in a straight path on moving they suffer frequent collision collision against the metal ions and loss energy so not only electrons these ions are here also positive ions they collide they give up their energy and again they gain energy from the battery potential difference they again start moving but direction so reaching from this positive end of the battery of this here to here electron have to 
suffer lot of pollution okay so during this short time on moving they suffer frequent collision against the metal ions and loss energy during this short time between every two collision two successive collision the electron accelerate toward the positive end but the extra velocity so gained is destroyed at each subsequent collision the net result is that addition to the random motion the electron acquire a small velocity toward the positive end once they collide with the electron with the ions they, they lost their energy but again due to potential they again start moving they further collide with other atoms other positive ions this process continue okay so the time to, so i don't know how many atoms but there are so many in one mole we know 6.023 uh, to 10 to the power 23 atoms are there so in that is amount if so many atoms are there so in the, uh, one meter conductor there are so many uh, atoms so it's long journey so in that uh, so instead of we uh, we cannot sure about how many atoms it collide but we simply and on average but on, on average you can see the electrons are moving toward a positive end of the battery that means they gain earlier when there was no they are moving but now here they have directed toward a positive end so they gain at some velocity and to and so because there are so many collisions we will use at an average velocity so these electrons moving electrons which are to, uh, moving toward the positive end acquire some velocity toward the positive ions uh, positive end of the conductor and this average velocity is called drift velocity so in simple this was all this so in simple how to define it we define as average velocity with which the free electron get drifted toward the positive end of the conductor under the influence of extreme electric field and it is denoted with the letter vd and it is simply 10 to power minus 5 meter per second and let's how to get the mathematical formula it is all definition the drift velocity is what drift velocity is defined as the average velocity with which um, we can see our slide also if it help us uh, the drift velocity drift velocity defined the velocity with which the free electron get it's an average velocity is the average remember so what you can say if velocity is the average velocity with which the electron get drifted toward the positive terminal under the influence of applied electric field now we will find uh, quant uh, this is the definition now we will find out the new, uh, an equation what is the value of how you will calculate the drift velocity it's very easy as we have have understand the drifting so when as we have connected it is the conductor and this is connected with the cell let's say the conductor is of length the length of the conductor is i use a different pen l this length of the conductor is l and the voltage of the battery provided is e so uh, let no no sorry i should say v the voltage you know so from so electric field developed in it will be you know the potential electric field e is equal to v upon l okay e is equal to v upon l then the electric field will be e is equal to v upon l we have done this huh? okay minus dv upon dl we simply write it the relation between potential and electric field which is all which it is dv upon dl so in minus removing minus and dv so I, this is like that now on further huh? now when this electric field is applied so under the influence of electric field the coulomb force act on the electrons so the coulomb force
act on the electron and the force amount will be Phi E is electric the Coulomb force value will be minus E minus E why negative nature of the electron and E so as we have studied force under the under the electric field always in simple I could say Q E so E instead of Q I wrote minus E because I know the charge carrier is minus electrons so the force experienced by each electrons under this electrical field as as I have connected this through up shell okay so due to this force and let's say due to this force electron pull toward the electrons are pulling toward positive end so because they are pulling from here to here positive end so that means they are accelerated and if A is the acceleration gained by the electrons so from mechanics we know Newton's law the force experience mechanical force is mass into accelerations so the mechanical happen due to electrical force and electrical force is minus E E so due to this force so both are forces so the both can be equated so after equations equating them we simply say minus e e is equal to m a and with this we can find out a is equal to minus e e what happened now e e upon m so this is the acceleration but here we are talking about drift velocity so remember this equation again for the first equation was u1 plus u2 average velocity at and this is the second equation right now we will go to the section now but before we further go between two consecutive okay the, the time between two consecutive collusion of these electrons with uh, neighboring ions it's called relaxation time okay three electrons accelerate before they undergo a collision with the positive ions in the conductor it's called relaxation time so according to uh, okay so initial let's say for one electron initial electron u1 was initial velocity and it got an acceleration a as we have calculated now and let that time is tau so the velocity gain as you have applied electric field u1 is thermal thermal velocity okay for a part this is for this is true for her v2 and v3 also you can simply find out u2 plus a tau 2 because different atom okay this is like that So the net average velocity of the all the free electrons would be how to calculate the average velocity simply v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus delta dash v1 upon m and as we have now just now we have done v1 is how much Mm, v1 is u1 plus uh, a tau 1 this is first term then v2 will be u2 plus a tau 2 where tau 2 is radiation for second more atom second electron and so on upon m as such so once so now on solving this we can take out u1 u2 separate okay u1 plus u2 plus level un this is one term upon n and plus the remaining terms will be a we can take out and tau 1 plus tau 2 and add as tau n upon n. 
we know from the first equation this is average velocity initial level it is zero so this is zero so only the term which is left is a t1 t2 average so t1 plus t2 plus t n upon n is average transition time so in the instead of that uh, adding we simply write average velocity v is equal to zero plus k let's say t average oops okay so this is vb is equal to now this is a formula we got vb is equal to a into t and a formula which we already know minus e e upon n and we got the value so the drift velocity is in mathematical it from the logic only so drift velocity a theory of current conductor in terms of electrical and average velocity and time is minus e on it so this is how we derive the drift velocity formula so you can see the drift velocity is directly related to electrical how much electrical you applied and how much is the relaxation time and this relaxation time is intrinsic property of that metal conductor that conductor okay it is different electron we know it's common for but electric field is external property and m is the mass of electrons so because of this relaxation time the conductivity or you can say conduction of electrons in different metal is different let's again a negative sign shows why this negative sign a negative sign this formula shows that the drift velocity the direction of drifting is to opposite to the direction of applied electric okay it's all this now i will come to the relation of there is a good relation written between electric current and vb drift velocity this is vb which we have mentioned you know it is very simple let's n be the vb is a drift velocity once you apply the electrical e. let n be the small n eh? let small n be the number of electrons per unit volumes and the conductor length is l and its cross section area this area is a so number of electrons n is number of electrons per unit volume per unit volume so number of electrons so the total number of electrons will be n into a into l so n is per unit volume so you multiply with number huh? it is let's say n so the total charge p is equal to total electrons into charge of one electron so you will get we putting by n a l p okay now the from the current definition as we have known i is equal to q upon p and just now we have calculated the total number of charge so it is n a l p upon p what is l upon t the length of the conductor upon time when the distance upon time is what velocity we can write n a b b simple so this is the relation between i and current and drift velocity or further per unit area current per unit area you can or current density you can further do it j is equal to i upon s area so here a area surface area so, so you simply cancel out this term with this a. so it is n a v b n v b e so i is proportional to n is numbers vb is drift velocity current is proportional to drift velocity now we are coming to i don't know what happened now what is left on ppt let's see it now here you can see it B A T and then B D is equal to minus E E upon M. 
can be the relation between i and v d corrected directly the proportion to depth velocity you can see from this way okay now current density we already said uh, ohm's law we already we have already done okay resistance we have our ohm's law according to now what next is our section is the relation between any vd we have done it and this one now on continuation the derivation you can see i is related to vd by any ed and any a and after putting the value of uh, vd drift velocity which is e e upon m tau and from here what they have done they simply and we know e is what v upon l also so let me show you how they have done it it is very easy instead of but you have to start everything from the beginning huh? remember so what i will do I start with I is equal to N, N, E, A, V, D. Okay. To substitute the value of N, E, A, which is E, E, con, M, tau. So, you simply got N, E square, to A, E tau and upon n. Now E is further as we know we have studied the E is V upon L. So that value on substitution bring to this value and so I am going up. So the equation become N E square A V upon L tau upon m, but there is one thing. What is it? Area of cross section. Now, what quantity can be cancelled out? Any idea? Okay, from that V. Okay, what we will do? Okay, this is all we got. And here in the left hand side, what we had I. So from Ohm's law, V upon I will. What do I will do? I will take come take everything out. So So V I am leaving here V upon I and rest of the things I'll here. So down will be N E square A tau and up will be M. So this thing M upon N E square A tau is V upon I and what is V upon I? From Ohm's law, V upon I is simply equal to R. So the resistance. Now we have n e square a tau. So in the resistance is So M so V upon I is equal to I'm just writing again U and I just again. Okay, answer. So I'll write V upon I is equal to M and E square tau. L upon I can write this way. 
also this term this is r so r is equal to v upon i so this is what this term denotes this row which we study and rho is resistivity so rho is equal to from this we can simply because these are constant m and it is depend upon the intrinsic value so the resistivity depend upon the mass the factor affecting the resistance of the conductor r so in overall length externally the length of the wire and cross section of the wire externally but internally means what type of metal conductor we are talking about so i am is constant that also is by number one relaxation that means material of the conductor so resistance is inversely proportion to the material of the conductor and the free electrons number of free electrons where n is number of charges per unit volume type b and drift velocity is temperature related the more the temperature the uh, the relaxation time will be small because uh, electrons will move fast so they will collide frequently so the time interval between two successive collision will be less so at higher temperature okay temperature the resistance of inversely proportional to relaxation time that means at higher temperature the velocity of electron increases this result in increase in resistance so that is why conductor cannot be worked at higher temperature otherwise the more resistance will be faced and we know resistance in this is ohms uh, i think this is all we have for today and let's see we have left anything ha huh. and temperature depends on the alloy study so tomorrow we will start with color coded car registers how to make that that's for now